Good morning, Bruce. That's Bruce. He's going to sit here and monitor my little review of the day. It's uh, mid-July 2020 right now. This is a little remodel house that I did. The uh, AC that was on here. Carrier, but it was from, uh, I think it was from the 1970s. Mercury style. Two mercury ampules there. Uh, this thermostat just was not very effective. It didn't hold up well. It, this temperature would like fluctuate throughout the day. And this thing would just, no matter what the temperature was inside, it would just kick on and stay on for hours at a time. Even when I put it all the way up to 90. But the diagram here is the same as the new thermostat that I got. You got the greens, the whites, the red, gray, orange, yellow, blue. The thing is, take a picture of this before you dis before you remove all the wires. Take two or three pictures of it, which I did. I had a whole video of this install, but somehow the video got corrupted. I, I don't know what happened to it, but this is assembled in Mexico. Alrighty, so this is the new one that I purchased. It's the Honeywell series. Blah, 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 blah. It's a digital, programmable. Uh, it even has backlighting on it so that you can see it at nighttime. And I just removed this so I could show the back side of it. it. Takes, I guess these are AAA batteries, it takes two AAAs. And this one is made, manufactured in Minnesota. You have to remember that when you do this, flip the switch over to electric or heat pump versus gas or oil. I forgot about that in the beginning. And this is where the old one was at, which the new one wouldn't fit there because the holes were reamed out too much. So I had to transition it up to there. So I could get it into a piece of wood stud behind there. But if you look at it, the little uh, letters there are pretty much the same. Got the blue, got the orange, got the green, the yellow, the white, and that one's not used, and this one's red. And there's a little uh, crossover piece of metal right there. It'll tell you in the description. If you have this same similar setup, then you leave that little crossover wire, whatever it is, in there. And, uh, yeah, it works fine. And I marked all of these with the labels that come with the new thermostat. I marked them all with the sticker. But, you know, it's weird because the sticker for green matches the green uh, I mean there it's the colors are the same I'm guessing those stickers must be for people who have a thermostat wiring system that maybe the colors of these are not the same or maybe they're all the same color I don't know but I still label them just because I was being a sheep anywho Here's the faceplate. Just snaps on. You can see these little metal, whatever they're called, they're going to line up and slide right into the bottom there. They line up pretty good. So I just hook it on. And I just hook it on. And snap it into place. And there you go. So the setup for this is very easy after I figured it out. You just hit set. You're going to set your time, your current time, wherever you're at. And it's in the 12 hour, not the 24 hour, which I prefer a 24 hour. But anyways, and then you're going to set the day, the current day that you are on when you set this. So it's Friday here, July 24th, I think, 2020. 
And here you go, you can set the whole week, Monday through Friday, your wake up time. So when you wake up in the morning, you can set it to 75 degrees, because I always wake up about 5, but I set it for 6. I don't know why. Uh, the next one is when you leave for work, 8 a.m., and then you leave temperature, so it'll change the temperature to 80. This is how you adjust it right here, just up and down. Same with the time. And then when you return home from work, 7 p.m., I usually set it to an hour before I get home. So that by the time I get home, it's cooled down enough. And your return home temperature. Here in Florida, it's usually like 99 degrees in the summer. So 80 is pretty comfortable on the inside at night when I get home. And then sleep time about 10 p.m. And I set it at 75 degrees. Now this is all in Fahrenheit. They don't have an option to change it to Celsius, which I kind of wish they did, but they don't. And then the sleep temperature. So when you go to sleep, it'll drop it down to whatever temp you set. That's Monday through Friday. Now we're at Saturday and Sunday. Your wake time, 75 degrees. Your leave time for leaving to go fishing, probably, or hiking, or, or maybe go out in a boat, or who knows. I'm sure some of you work on the weekend, so that's when you leave for whatever you're doing on Saturday and Sunday. Your leave temperature. Your return home from the day, your return home temperature, and your sleep time and your sleep temperature. And then when you hit the last one, it takes it to back to the beginning and it just uh, starts up the series, the, the process. But yeah, it's nice. I like it a lot. It definitely, start, uh, my electric bill dropped a lot when I used when I set up this thing. Because I kind of had it set at, at first I set it to 95 during the day and I dropped it down. I've been playing with it, fluctuating it a little bit just to test it. I bought two of these. I think they're $24 on Amazon. I'll throw a link down in the description below and I'll try to put one up here or over here or over here or over here. Uh, it's about 24 bucks. I got two of them. I threw the other one inside my RV so that way it keeps the humidity low and I just set it daytime I set it for 99 because it'll get up to like 120 in there during the day in the RV without the AC on. So I set it to 99 or 95. But that's nice. I like it a lot. That's the model number. I'll throw it in the description. All right, Bruce, how did I do? How was it, Bruce? Did you enjoy the review? How was the review? <laughs> oh, was it that good? <laughs> I guess he didn't like the review.